you with Elite Fitness. Welcome to our interval training class today. We've got 30 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. That's kind of our blueprint for the routine. We've got, we've got three different circuits, guys. We're gonna do them each twice. We have a core circuit. And guys, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do our core. We're gonna do two circuits of core to kind of get the body really warm. So it's core for our first two circuits. Then we'll alternate upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. All right, so this workout, 28 minutes long. It's not super long, but I think it's very effective. Um, a few items, guys. If you have weights, use them. Dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells. Um, if you don't have weights, guys, I'm going to use some just some basic household items just to show you that even if you don't have weights, you can get a great workout at home or on the run. Okay, if you're, if you're traveling, for vaca or traveling for work, if you're on vacation, um, you can still get a neat little workout with just a few basic items. All right. Let me give you the laundry list today of what you'll need. Uh, guys, you may want just a mat for the floor. I mentioned the core circuit still will be on the floor, so I've got an ab mat, so you may want an ab mat, okay, not mandatory. Uh, a chair, you may want a chair, guys. We're gonna do some step ups, and guys, listen, we're trying to, trying to appeal to just about any fitness level also. Step ups may not be good for everybody. So we can modify that with just a with a, with a lunch, okay? So you may want a chair uh, for just a couple exercises, so have a chair handy. Um, we're gonna do this low side plank and ladder raise. You could use just your 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 hand, your arm for weight. Um, light dumbbells, if you have dumbbells, guys, maybe a canned good would work, and they come in different sizes, you know, obviously, and this is just your basic size here. Um, so you could use that, guys, for your, your ladder raise. Um, Gallon jugs, guys, we're gonna use those kind of like dumbbells throughout this routine. So um, you can handle one or maybe two gallon jugs in each hand. So you'd need four if you're just using your hands, okay? I'm gonna say you may want up, up to like seven or eight, okay? Uh, if you use some optional items, okay? And the optional items are gonna be, uh, I'm gonna make use of a backpack, guys, that you can put old weight plates, you have old weight plates laying around, um, maybe some just some random dumbbells laying around um, that you're not going to use for this routine or they're, they're kind of mismatched you have like like 115 whatever books paper you can put those in the backpack just to get a, a little bit of weight okay and i'm going to use the backpack guys for um some curls in today's workout okay because um i could hold two gallon jugs each time but i go a little heavier with the backpack and i, and I like how you can reach on your keep your hands supinated um so anyway uh, I'll use the backpack. The other thing, guys, is I'll be using a, a broomstick. And I think I'm just using a broomstick for one exercise. And I'm gonna string, so this is a push broom, guys. If you've seen the videos before, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Uh, I just twisted the, the, the broom off. Guys, anything would work like this, okay? And, and, and this basically is a broomstick. It could be a mop, whatever you've got. Um, slides right through the handles of these old gallon milk jugs, okay? So filled them with water. Um, they slide right through and it works pretty well, guys. So I'll be sliding gallon jugs onto this just for some added resistance for the bent over rows. And again, the backpack and broomstick are just options, guys, if you want to go heavier. The last thing you might want, guys, as an option is uh, a pair of sliders. Now, these are just moving sliders. They have fitness sliders that are, are slick on one side, and then on the other side, they have like a sock on them so they can slide on hardwood a little easier. So you may want, if you don't have if you have moving sliders, they work great, guys. The slick side, the plastic side works well on carpet, which I've got here. Um, or you could use even a towel if you have like a hardwood floor. Okay, so they'll come in handy. There's just an option, guys. You could just do a traditional line pullover with dumbbells or gallon jugs also, okay? I'm gonna spread the mat out, guys. We're starting on the floor. Remember, we're gonna go through this one um, two times, and then the next circuits, we'll, we'll alternate those circuits, okay? So, um, Let's come down here, and again, 30 seconds, guys. I've got the interval timer here. Let's pull that up. We're starting with some seated leg lifts. Guys, if for some reason that strains you, you, you could do knee tucks if these are too challenging, all right? I'm gonna hit start, guys, and just, just follow my lead as we go through this, okay? Here we go, guys. So we'll start with leg lifts. So I'm back, and we're just coming up, guys. Just trying to squeeze that core, right? Trying not to strain the legs. Let's let the core do all the work.
five seconds. Recover for ten Four. seconds. Guys, I'm gonna move man out of the way. We have cross planks next. You could use a chair five for this. Five seconds. Okay, so you could go to a chair right now. I'll slide this out. We're here. We're just crossing the legs across the body. Work for thirty seconds. So squeeze, engage that core as you come across the body in this up plank position. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. Five seconds. Guys, oh, and my hand good here. Guys, low plank ladder raise. Work for 30 so seconds. So I'm in a low plank position. Good position. I'm just going to raise this up and come down. Five seconds. Recover for Recover ten, for 10 seconds. seconds. Five seconds. You can stack your feet also, guys. Work for 30 I have mine stacked. Just don't come too high, guys. Stop straight up and come down so you don't lose your balance if you go over. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay. Five seconds. Okay, guys, we have flutter kicks. We'll stay down low. I'm with my hands behind the head. You can put it on your side. Work for thirty seconds. And we have thirty seconds of just doing some flutters here. I'm not trying to go too ballistic. Trying to get a good speed, but not too fast, and also not straining the back. I'm not coming all the way to the floor. So based on your flexibility and your fitness level, you could get lower, but I just want to make sure you don't strain the back. Five seconds. Recover for 10 okay. seconds. Guys, this next one, weight's another option here. We're gonna do cross Five reaches. Seconds. So let me show you, I'm gonna use gallon jugs for this. We're gonna lay back. Work for 30 seconds. And I'm just going to reach up. And I'm just gonna alternate. sides that I reach with. Five seconds. Recover for okay. 10 seconds. This is off the side. Uh, guys, we've got a minute. Five seconds. I gotta get ready. And we're gonna go through Cycle you know, that again. For 50 seconds. Okay. And then core will be will be done. Alright, so we got there's 45 seconds now, 43. Alright. So six segments, guys, to run through before you get a break. Deep breaths here, guys. And we're going to start with those seated leg lifts here in less than 15 seconds. <clears throat> okay. Five seconds. Guys, here we go. Leg Work lifts. for 30 seconds. stuff. Five seconds. Recover for 10 hey seconds. Hey guys, we have those cross planks now. All right, so 
Five seconds. Scoot this out just a little bit. We'll get in our push-up position. Drive the knees Work across the body. Work for 30 seconds. Good work. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Five seconds. Work for thirty there seconds. There we go. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay, we'll switch them up. Five seconds. Work for thirty seconds. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. All right. Guys, we're going to do flutter kicks next. Five seconds. Here we go. Work for thirty seconds. Keep that core engaged. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. All right. Again, weight's optional. We're gonna do these cross. Five seconds. Alternate cross reaches. So we're just connecting with a crunch, but leading Work with for one 30 side. Seconds. Then the other. So I'll leave it to the right. And guys, these can be dumbbells, gallon jugs, or just, just your arm, no weight at all. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. All right. We'll set these off to the side, guys. Five seconds. Okay, we have a minute to get ready for our body. We're gonna start with push-ups, guys. Cycle rest right. for 50 seconds. Oh guys, we also need sliders. I'm gonna get these sliders ready. Guys, push ups. Here we go. Got a little behind. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. Okay, guys, we're gonna use the sliders. That I, we can do optional gallon jug. Five seconds. Or dumbbells. But I'm gonna do pullovers with sliders. Work for 30 seconds. So guys, I'm just gonna slide out. Elbows are out a little bit. 
and then I pull it in. Now, in a mat, it might be helpful on the knees here, guys. Brows a little hard here. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Five seconds. Close push ups, guys. We're gonna come here. Work for 30 seconds. So we'll use an incline position here. We're gonna kind of hit a little more triceps, inner chest, a little different angle. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. Woo! That kind of going. Guys, we have bent over rows next. Five seconds. So I've got this sort of set up here. Work for 30 seconds. And guys, here we go. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Yeah, okay, set those down. Five seconds. Guys, we have pipe push-ups, hitting those shoulders. Work for thirty <clears throat> seconds. Coming down, just pressing up. Five seconds. Oh, man. Recover for ten wow. seconds. Those are tough. Guys, okay, curls. I'm using a backpack Five for the curls. Work for thirty seconds. Go, thirty seconds of curls. So I'm trying to get my hands kind of supinated. So give the palms up. Five seconds. Recover for ten Come seconds. On. Guys, I'll set this off to the side here. And guys, now we've got five seconds. Another Cycle fifty rest second for break. 50 now. Seconds. We're going to ten and then fifty, so we have a full minute. And uh, guys, I'm gonna sit up for legs. All right, I'm gonna use a, a chair for step ups. Guys, if you have a hard time doing a step up, you can just do, just do a lunge, okay? If you have a hard time with balance, use a wall, doorway, or a chair for balance. I'm gonna set this up over here. So I've got step ups here, guys. We have one leg, then the other leg. Then I'll do thrusters using the backpack, same weight as the curls. We have a wall sit, and then we're going to do a one leg bridge or use the chair for a leg curl. Okay? Five seconds. Alright, guys. Work for 30 we'll seconds. Step up, guys. You have 30 seconds of step. Let's try to drive with your front leg. If you're using a chair or a step, it's your elevated leg. Here's how we're going to push off the back. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Short break, guys. Five seconds. We'll switch those legs up. And guys, here we go. Work for right thirty up. seconds.
Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Five seconds. Guys, the thrusters are next. I'm gonna use a backpack. Work for thirty seconds. Underhand grip. We're squat. Pressing up. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Set that down. Five seconds. You guys, wall sit, narrow stance. All right. Work for thirty seconds. Ooh, man, I feel. Slow deep press here, guys. We've got five seconds. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. Guys, one leg leg curls. 30 five seconds. seconds. Long time. You could do just a bridge. Okay, I'm gonna block down here. Work for 30 seconds. Just drive up and come down. So I'm just trying to drive my heel down through the chair, almost like you're making like a leg curl. Now you could press with your foot and do more of a bridge. This is a little more challenging. Five seconds. Recover for 10 seconds. Five seconds. There we go. Work for 30 seconds. If you have a short pause, you can touch down here and then come up. Five seconds. Recover for 10 okay, seconds. Guys, we have a minute break, all right? And we're back to our five upper seconds. Body, okay? So the push ups, pull overs. Cycle rest for 50 seconds. I'll get a quick drink here, guys. Catch your breath for just a second here. Everything looks like it's pretty much ready here. About 10 seconds, guys. Come slow, deep breaths. Five seconds. Work for 30 seconds. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay, guys. Grab your sliders or a towel from hardwood. Or maybe using gallon jugs or dumbbells. for thirty seconds. Guys, we're just coming out. I'm trying to work that back, guys. I'm trying to keep my elbows out a little bit as I'm doing this. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay. 
close push-ups are next. Seconds. On a chair or a bench. Work for 30 seconds. Five seconds. Okay, guys, cool. Recover for ten seconds. Tougher than they look. They are tougher than they look. All right. Break Five the seconds. Yes, I get the bar set up here. Work for thirty seconds. Okay. Squeeze that back with every rep. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay, guys. Top Five one. seconds. Pike push ups. Work for thirty seconds. Shoulder press. Five seconds. Oh. Recover oh. for ten seconds. Boy, when shoulders get tired, you hit the wall fast. All right, guys, we have five curls. seconds. Work for thirty Here seconds. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Okay. I'll set this here, guys. We have to use it again for thrusters. So Five this seconds. is a start of our minute break here. Cycle rest for fifty seconds. All right, guys. We're starting our final circuit here in about forty seconds. Upper body circuit, that was pretty tough one, wasn't it? Whew. Gets it going. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we go. Five seconds. All right, we're driving up. Work for Remember, 30 seconds. Front leg, in this case, the elevated leg. Try not really squeeze. Make that front leg work. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Five seconds. Here we go. Work for thirty seconds. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Thrusters, guys. Five seconds. Work for thirty Here seconds.
five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Guys, narrow stance. Five seconds. A lot of stuff's been working in your thigh. Try to focus on the outer a little bit. Work for thirty seconds. Slow. Deep breaths. Five seconds. Recover for okay, 10 guys. seconds. <laughs> My chair is right here. I'm gonna fall into the chair. Five seconds. For our bridges, our leg curls. Work for 30 seconds. This leg in the air is just relaxed. Everything's on this push leg. Five seconds. Recover for ten seconds. Feels a little bit. All right. Five seconds. Here we go. Work for thirty seconds. Focus on the hamstring, guys. Five seconds. Recover oh. for ten seconds. Woo. Those hamstrings may be a little tight after that, guys, but Five the good seconds. news is that was the last exercise. Alright? So workout complete. That was our interval training workout for today. Man, good stuff. Alright, hitting the whole body, burning some body fat, improving strength, muscular endurance. All kinds of good stuff. So a great way to work out, and it can really match just about any fitness level based on how many reps you're gonna get, and you know if you have to pause or whatever the case may be. It's really good at leveling the field. So, guys, this is Jim with Elite Fitness. Thanks for watching. We're bringing wellness to you.